Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for joining us for the webinar series where we talk to not only our customers, but we also talk about best practices within the services, trades, and how we can benefit you all with some of these conversations as well as some of the products and softwares that we have to offer. I'm really excited because we do have a guest here with us today on today's webinar. His name's Scott. I'll let him do his introduction and then we'll get into why he's here, uh, why you all should be excited. And then we're going to talk a little bit about some stories that I think you guys are really going to resonate with. Scott, tell us about yourself, man. Yeah, hello. Uh, my name's Scott Byrne. I'm located in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. So very excited to be a part of the SA Win team. Um, from what I've experienced while I've been on board already, there's a bright future ahead for us. And I'm really excited to be a part of that process. So, you know, really looking forward to it. Awesome, man. I really appreciate you you having the, the courage, man. I know we're in sales, so oftentimes we're having tough conversations, but being on camera and, and, and kind of talking about yourself can be a little weird and, and, and um, you know, scary at times. And um, you, you hit this head on, man. You, you uh, approached it head on. You said, hey, let's do it. And, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to get into talk a little bit about uh, who we are as a C, uh, SA Win sales professionals, a little bit of our expertise. Um, you know, I'm always for you going first, but if you want me to go ahead and start off, I'll start off on the first leg of the race and then uh, you can come up on the end. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. All right. So awesome. So I got here at SA, I got to the SA Win family and the SA Win company here in February of this year. Um, part of the reason why I came over here is I not only saw an opportunity to work with a previous colleague of mine, but I also had an opportunity to see that there is software that's out there that's, that's catered to um, the skater to HVAC, electrical, plumbers, you know, the whole nine. And it's really starting to develop and it's starting to get some, gain some legs and get some traction. And one of the things my mentor tells me all the time is you better get in there from the ground up as, as close as you can to the ground up as you possibly can, because you'll be there to influence where you really start to take off exponentially and you can be a part of that growth. You can be a, be a part of that, that story that says that, hey, this is why we were successful. So I'm excited to be here uh, to talk about a little bit of my sales, sales professionalism. I, I've been in sales for the last 14, 15 years, started out in consumer product goods, made my transition over into software back in 2019. And it was eye opening to me because it really gave me an opportunity to have uh, so much more conversations, but also have a greater impact with those conversations. Before it was more of contract based, you had to do what the contract required you to do. And then I had to learn how to truly earn people's business, whether it be with every conversation that we had or on a month to month basis and not necessarily lock them into a contract that held them kind of hostage to doing the stuff that we required them to do. So to, to make that transition from contract based sales into more of a transactional based sales on a month to month basis was a little scary. But as I gained some steam and gained some legs, uh, it started to be exciting to me because I knew that I could help a lot of these companies um, you know, grow and soar into the heights of, of being the companies that they wanted to be. So that's a little bit about my sales experience and, and what got me here uh, at SA Win and a little bit of my expertise. What about you, Scott? Yeah, great introduction. So uh, for myself, I've been doing sales for feels like a long time. I feel like we're over yeah. 10 years now, um, just going through different industries, you know, started out in business to business collections, then moved into more payroll and HR services. And I really built a strong foundation behind sales and communicating with people and, you know, being able to provide what they need on that call. But I really didn't feel a connection with those industries. Um, about four and a half, five years ago, I started getting into SaaS sales and dealing with scheduling and dispatching for service based companies. And I immediately connected with that customer, you know, hardworking people that are out there doing day to day jobs, real people like us. And there's not just a business that we're working for. Um, so being that role that really opened my eyes to what we are doing for these customers. So many people are using pen and paper process. So many people are just juggling software and it's taken up so much time to get a job completed where they can just, you know, have one system, knock it out, be done at the end of the day and go spend some time with the family so seeing that there were companies struggling with their workflow needing a solution to really bring everything under one roof and make them more efficient 
and then being able to provide that for them, being able to see that result really changes, you know, your aspect or, or your outlook on what you're selling. So immediately, once I started helping people improve their business, they see results, they're doing better. I immediately got attached with this role as well. So very excited to be a part of SA Win. Um, you know, getting in at the ground level, like you talked about, is is an exciting opportunity. Um, in my previous role, there was a lot of foundation already there. So I was just adding to that success. But now we have the ability to really build this up and take it where it needs to be. So yeah, that's that's very exciting as well. Yeah, I, I would agree. And and, um, and I'm sure there was a piece of uh, you know the, the puzzle that were uh, that we didn't mention is me and Scott had an opportunity to work together on our previous venture. Um, and um, though there were some foundational elements that were there, we really started seeing some growth towards the uh, towards, you know, I would say about a year to two years prior to us, you know, leaving that company and coming over here or, or going yeah. to another venture. Um, and so uh, when, when I had the opportunity to get Scott over here on this team, it, it excited me because it showed that not only do we have the potential and we have the products in place, but now we have the expertise, right? Scott mentioned to you guys, he has about 10 plus sales, uh, sales, uh, sales experience. I have about 14 to 15 years plus sales experience. And so this is an opportunity to take the sales experience that we have to shape and mold that within the company and make sure that we have the opportunity to service companies like yourself or companies that are very similar to yours uh, so that you all can see the benefits um, and know that we're here to make sure we put you in a position to find the right software. We're not gonna force it on you. We're not gonna find uh, that, you know, we're, we're pushing once again that contract to say, okay, sign this contract and once again, it's like, oh, no, I've, I've disappeared. You know, I don't exist and, and you just kind of locked in. You have to keep paying us. But, you know, one of the reasons why we're here too is to share some stories with you guys. And one of the stories that I'll share is, is with uh, one of our most recent customers that we signed up and some of the experiences that they've had in the industry. In our market, you know, there's a ton of softwares that are out there. And we know that if you're coming from some of these uh, these different channels, you're probably getting hit up and called and emailed and, and cold called quite, quite often because ultimately they're putting a lot of dollars into um, the, the cold call program or the marketing and ensuring that they get in front of you, but can they provide you all with the right product? So I had a customer of mine uh, straight out of Indiana, just signed them up a couple weeks ago that really had some bad experiences with, with two different softwares prior to coming to us. And one of the, the benefits was really that I was there to actively listen to them, not just care about their business, not just care about how much money they make, not just care about the size of their business and how many people they have working for them, but most importantly, them. Because ultimately, they started this business back in 2017. It was really a side hustle. And they knew that they needed to do something as the the uh, challenges of the economy changed since 2017. And when they went out on faith and they decided to start this company full time back in 2022, they had so many uh, opportunities to work with different platforms, but they were really searching and finding the right platform. And so as we had some conversations, we talked about family, we talked about the important things to them, their why, we started being able to shape what was more important to them when it came to software to help them support their why. Right, not necessarily the other way around. Like here's software, here's how it's gonna work for you. But most importantly, we wanted to make sure that it supports you and your family, right? No, it's like, hey, let's talk about your family. Let's talk about the things that matter to you. And the more we got into that conversation, the more they were willing to open up about some of the challenges that they had faced. Whether it be the software not allowing them to work work with their tax structure and ensuring that they get the, the, the most out of um, limiting the amount of tax related activities and accounting that they had to do because they're a small business. Whether it was the scheduling with you know certain technicians and ensuring that they have the right person available for that job, they had all of those solutions here, but they were they were promised, they were over promised and under delivered with some of these previous companies. And so um, I'm excited for them. I think it's really great. I'm not gonna mention their names, but I'm excited for them and what they're going to experience with the SA Win Core product that we uh, were able to uh, put into their hands. Uh, we truly believe in white glove service and helping them along the way and getting them up to speed. And so there are going to be some challenges, right? There's going to be some some moments where they're going to have to learn. But because we built a, a relationship with them and we're, we opened up to more conversation, then they're willing to make sure that that conversation continues and they're going to reach out to us when they have those challenges. So I'm really uh, excited for them. If you guys are watching this, thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to partner with you all. Um, and we hope that you guys have a ton of success and you grow so large uh, that you guys uh, work with one of our, our larger products, the Enterprise product. 
Um, but that's enough about my story, Scott. I think you have a story as well that you want to share. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is um, somebody that I signed up looking at middle of last month, I believe. Okay. Um, and he, he's used SA Win in the past. So previously he had a company in place, used SA Win for a long time, and it was very successful. He transitioned to a different company, and in that he was like, "Let me look around, see what else is out there. If I'm missing anything, or, or what there could be." Um, from there, he did sign up with a different company that is a little bit on the larger side. Um, you know, they have more advertisement, more name out in the market space. So he figured, let's give them a shot. Um, through that process, once again, kind of falling under that concept of overpromising and under delivering, he tried the software out, didn't really get far through onboarding and then realized this is not going to work the way that I wanted to. He immediately circled back to SA Win. We did a very in-depth demo to make sure that there was nothing missing out of our process and he wasn't going to run into the same issues. So very transparent. And then from there, he ended up wanting to, you know, implement SA Win again. I followed up with him last week just to check in and see how things are going. His onboarding experience was awesome. Within the first week, he was already up and running and using that system to handle his normal jobs. But then he was still in communications to plan out what are we going to do in the future? You know, what more can we do to build off of this software, to put service agreements in place, do things that we're not doing today and have a path of how that's going to get done. So I'm really excited that he tried another software out and, and had that opportunity but then whenever he came back to SA Win, we executed exactly like what we needed to provided a transparent demo to make sure he's not going to run into those same issues and then once we got him onto onboarding it was off to the races got up and running immediately has a path for what they're going to do in the future and you know he's going to be very successful going forward as well so always exciting to have repeat business coming back to us but he has also mentioned that he's going to refer SA went out to any colleagues that mentioned that they're having business workflow because he's seen the success of what this can happen whenever it's implemented correctly so you know that just speaks to how strong of a system SA win is i believe whenever we have more um marketing and more ways to get ourselves out in front of customers they're going to start to see that same message as well so it's very exciting to have a successful story like that to build off of though oh, oh it sure is and, and it's awesome to hear uh, especially the, the feedback that they've given us a couple weeks after they implemented and onboarded the product and to know that we were able to do that in a week now we're not going to make any promises that that's something that every single one of our customers is going to be able to do and get started over within a week but we, we truly believe that it's not about getting you um you know giving you the software getting you implemented and then it's, you're on your own right we, we provide you all with support we provide you all with a uh, really great implementation uh, and onboarding and training just to ensure that you feel comfortable making that shift and using the product and adopting the product um you know very early on within that that implementation phase um but the one thing that i wanted to point out uh in, in the story is the fact that he was willing to refer right you know one thing that i learned about people that are willing to refer a, a company is when you put your name on it, it means that you trust uh, you trust that it's going to provide the level of service that you would provide um, had you all been in the same seat. And so to know that he's willing to refer us to other contractors that are having some, having some workflow issues, that are having similar challenges that he's had in the marketplace when it comes to larger softwares that have large marketing budgets and ad spend and you find them everywhere, you do a search and they're showing up on all sides of Google. Um, SA Win doesn't, uh, doesn't do that. And majority of our customers, if not 80 to about 90% of our customers have come to us from referrals because we truly believe in the handshake. We truly believe in the, um, you know, uh, share your story, right? And as you share, the, uh, the, as the stories are shared, we find that there's so much value in that story that resonates really well with others. And so our hope is as we continue to do this webinar series, we're gonna find a way to be able to share those stories from the source, right? We're gonna grab those customers, we're gonna bring them in, we're gonna have them share the stories. And so you can hear it from their mouth because you know, we're, we're really just vessels that have had a chance to experience uh, what they're going through, but we also wanna be able to, to show you uh, live and in person, well, really virtually through these, uh, through these calls, what it's truly like. Um, and so as, as uh, we make that transition um, and talk about referrals, we wanna talk about why SA Win um, is better than what you guys have out there in the market. And we're not saying that we're the best software, we can, but what we wanna say is we are a premier software that's gonna work 
for service-based companies that are looking for scheduling and dispatching, that's looking for a system that can handle their service agreements, maintenance agreements and contracts, um, that can make sure that they're billing effectively, that can connect to your QuickBooks. Um, and I'm not gonna steal all these, Scott, I want you to you know, kind of talk to a, a few of those as well. Um, and, and we wanna make sure that you all uh, have the ability to associate the different locations that you all are working um, in classes that you all uh, have, the types of jobs that you all uh, do as well, whether they're residential, whether they're commercial. Um, what about you, Scott? What are some other things that you believe set us apart from uh, the competition? Yeah, so things that have really grabbed my attention since I've been with SAWIN and playing around in the system a lot further, I would say my biggest focus or the biggest thing that's really blown me away is how connected our process is when it comes to a deeper maintenance contract, service agreement, recurring jobs, and being able to have you know an actual step-for-step -step process of how to do that. Uh, with other software that I've seen, you would create a service agreement over here, schedule it on this side, put your billing somewhere else. And with SA Win, it's all under one page. So it's kind of taking you through each step of what you want to do with your contract. And then being able to easily go in there, manage it, see what your labor and material costs are all on one page. So how are service agreements, contract renewal, and just staying in front of those repeating jobs are, I feel like gives way more access to the customer. Um, another big thing that I've noticed on our mobile app out in the field, it's very user friendly. Oh, yeah. You can scroll through and find history of what you've done in the past, equipment information with pictures attached, um, overall pictures and documents. So your technicians have almost the same access of what they would at the office, just right there on their cell phone or their tablet. So the mobile app capabilities are, are very strong. And, you know, another thing from the mobile side is the offline mode, being able oh, yeah. to use the system without cell reception, being able to punch in some notes and pictures. When you connect to a cell phone tower, when you come back in service, all that information is saving. So that alone is something that really grabbed my attention as well. Yeah, and we can't forget the icing on the cake because a lot of you all um, are, are looking for your customers to be able to not only request service, whether it be request a quote, request a service call, book a call, you name it, but be able to view their invoices and most importantly, pay those invoices in a timely manner. We have a customer portal that's tied to uh, the software that allows you all to not only help existing customers, but primarily to get some of those new customers who are looking for your service, who don't necessarily wanna pick up the phone. They wanna see, hey, can I be quoted out on this job? Can we get somebody out here in a timely manner? And if something happens in the middle of the night, we know that you guys are closed. And so having the ability to be able to do that from a customer portal, I think is, um, is maximizes the opportunity for you guys to grow your customer base, but to also do something that's a little bit different than what the competition is doing. So we got that customer portal. Uh, we also have the ability to be able to make sure that you see on your dispatch board that whether or not you guys are late uh, or running late on jobs so that you can you know, communicate with your customers or ensure that your technicians have the right help so they can get jobs completed in a timely manner. So there are so many different ways that differentiate us from the competition that's out there, but you don't have to be a large company. You don't have to be a small company. You can be any size of company and we're willing to work with you. We hear uh, stories all the time where they said I was too small or, you know, I'm a large company, but they're trying to charge me so much more. One thing that we've done um, since coming here is we really packaged our uh, software to be for unlimited users. So if you're a growing company and you want a flat fee for the size of company that you are, you're in the right place. But if you are also a small company and you, you have big wants and needs, we're also here for you as well. We, we will never turn you away and tell you that you're too small for us to do business with you because ultimately we wanna work with every size, whether you're small, whether you're medium, mid-market, large, enterprise, you name it, we wanna work with you because we have a solution for you. Now, uh, we can keep talking about how we're great, but ultimately we wanna hear stories from you. If you all find that you found and you resonated with anything that we said here today, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to learn a little bit more uh, about uh, your company and how we can help and, and really just truly taking you through a demo presentation that shows you the value of what SA Win Core as well as SA Win Enterprise can do for you and your organization. Now, on the SA Win Enterprise, it's not unlimited users. We do have a different model there because for some of our larger companies, you're gonna need some of the larger lips. And, and we're continuing to develop that product as well as our SA Win Core. But let's have a conversation first. Let's talk through some of these things and whether or not uh, you reach out to us at sales at SA Win Pro, 
www.thebrandmarketingmaven.com. We'll also provide the phone number um, to, to you all. I believe I had it in here somewhere, uh, but our 1-800 number is on our website. So go to our website at sawinpro.com. Go ahead and call the number uh, from our website It'll, and press two for sales. And then you'll be able to reach either myself or Scott and we'll be able to assist you uh, along the way. Um, that wraps up our webinar for today. Scott, you got anything else you want to say before we end today? No, I think we did a great job. I really look forward to hopefully speaking to some people and being able to go through their process too. Awesome. Well, thank you again uh, for checking out this video. If you didn't get a chance to uh, watch this live, go ahead and watch, uh, and we appreciate you watching the replay. This is going to be on YouTube. We're also going to put it on LinkedIn and we're also going to provide you all with access to this from our website. So thank you again so much for giving us the time here at SA Win. We'll see you guys in the next webinar video.